Welcome to me landing the beautiful F-16 Fighting Falcon or Viper. To kick things off, you can see I just jettisoned my fuel tanks because this tiny, super fast, agile plane struggles to land when it's heavy because it's a very low drag fighter. When you get into low speed, it starts to suck ass. So let me get you back in the cockpit. I'm recording this after the fact, of course, and let you have a look at what I see. This is a horrible approach, by the way. I'm not too bad in terms of glide slope, but I'm way too fast at 300 plus knots. And there's three things I got to think about here. Let me explain them really quick. I'm going to do so by hitting pause. There are three things that I have to look at in order to land this plane effectively. The first is the vector. The symbol tells you where the plane is going to go based upon your current trajectory. So as I throttle up and down, this rises and it falls. I want to point this eventually just short of the runway because <laughs> my approach sucks and I need to compensate. Second thing I need to do is get this bracket up around the vector. Because what that does is control what's called angle of attack. If you have a look at this thing here, this tells you basically the angle that your nose of your plane is facing when you're going to land, and I want it to be at 11. It's a little more complicated than just nose angle, of course, but it doesn't matter. Third thing I want to look at is glide slope, which is dictated by primarily the um, degree markers. So if you look on the screen here, there's five degrees with dash lines. That's minus five. This is minus 10. So the nose is currently pointed at about minus seven and a half. Where I want it to be is up here at minus two and a half. So vector and E bracket, top of the E bracket actually, lined up right on minus two and a half degrees. So I'm throttling up, walking it down, speeding it up. I want to be under, well under 200 knots. So I'm over speed, and as you can tell, I'm off kilter. So I'm going to have to <laughs> roll the plane into it a little bit whilst not hitting that C-130, which is conveniently in my way. So I've got the vector past the threshold. I'm waiting for this E bracket to come up, which I'm dictating by adding power, which I'm going to add in just a second here. And my nose is just past two and a half, coming up on one and a half degrees. I want those back tires to touch first. I'm going to pull back on the stick, try to hold the nose up for a soft touchdown of the front wheel. And that's how you land an F-16, even when your approach sucks balls. <laughs> 